Hey folks, Cap Dave here. Uh, Tropical Storm Arthur just went by us last night. I had some kids. I saw that it was uh, small craft advisories. I'm sure it was windy. It was windy and it was a royal bitch yesterday. And I had uh, two 15 year olds yesterday. So, I mean, it didn't, it was okay. But to take the little kids out today, I said, forget it, because really, I don't want to be in the river. I mean, I want to be at the inlet. I want to be doing something else besides up in that river. So today was the first day off I've had in quite a while. Um, and then I start right back up again tomorrow. But what I'm doing here is I'm kind of looking over some tackle, putting some tackle together. Because you may have heard in one of my videos... Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to use Okuma rods. Well, I want to show you something. And right here is two Okumas. Each one broke on black tips. I mean, these are some pretty cool rods, see? They had a nice metal reel seat. They had this cork thing down here. Nice metal gimbal. Stand-up rod, big foregrip, plain old nothing fancy guides, and they were light as hell. Well, you can't high stick them. If you don't know what high sticking is, go fishing with a guy with a, some fancy St. Croix or some G. Loomis's and try to take a giant fish and stop them. When your rod's back here and the fish is right here. That's high sticking. Well, these Okuma convectors couldn't take it either. So, I got two broke ones. These are garbage. Pieces of shit. I got them for 15 bucks at a, at a sidewalk sale. I didn't really care. But, I got two more right here. Because I bought a total of four of them like an idiot. If you want them, I'll let you go play with these and maybe they'll last. Maybe they won't. I'll let you have them for 15 bucks. How's that? I got two of them. Identical. Right here. Come get them. Give me a call. Give me a, uh, send me an email. You can, it's, these, look at this one. Still got the plastic thing and it says, Okuma Warranty. Do you really want to go through all this BS? Um, you know, on a warranty for these for $15 rods? I don't think so. So, these go by the wayside. These were Garbaggio for big sharks. They'll handle redfish all day long. Because redfish certainly ain't sharks. So I was sitting here and I'm Got me a couple new ugly stick catfish rods. Let me tell you something about these ugly stick catfish rods. These things are the cat's ass. I mean, these things are catching some big, big fish. Okay? And they're durable as hell. So um, when you see that big old parabolic arc of somebody in my boat, with a decent fish on, you know, um, or even small fish. I mean, these rods bend, and they 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 save and keep the fish on the hook. They got that good old ugly stick bend to them, and I love that. Absolutely love it. I love watching the rod bend. Now, what I did do is I did have have some of these that are quite old, and I mean, they get these rods get the absolute snot knocked out of them. You know, on my boat. I had one that had the reel seat loosened up. So all you have to really do, and I'll show it to you. All you really have to do, you go to the old Home Depot Home Center. And I got this right here, some Loctite Epoxy. I've used it before. The neat thing about it is, is this one's got these little tubes that as you 
push the plunger on here, it mixes the epoxy for you. Really good stuff, seems to work out. Here's the one I was using right here. I don't know if you can see that twirliness inside there, but that right there is what's mixing the epoxy. So what I do is I take my Dremel or a really small bit and I make some precision holes and I get down sort of in there without going through the rod blank because the rod blank goes right through here and I fill it full of epoxy and believe it or not, I mean, as soon as I re-epoxy them, that rod's good to go. But man, I'm telling you, I can't, I can't say anything bad about it. This white, ugly stick catfish rod, that's for sure. Seven foot, medium heavy action. This thing, I'm using eight ounces of lead in the St. John's River sometimes, and these rods are handling it. No problem. And it says, uh, 15 to 30 pound class line. Well, I mean, you, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know what I'm using. I'm not using 15 to 30 cla pound class line. We're using these... Uh, 100 Triton, uh, these uh, TR100Gs by Shimano. Minimum, minimum, I'm putting 50 pound braids straight up on these, okay? And let me tell you again, I've done two videos about it. That is one tough reel. So, and then of course, you know, I'm experimenting. I did the video about a little follow up. I uh, did the video about these uh, saltists, the ones with auto-engaging handle. Still perfect, still wonderful. When I find something that's bulletproof, I'll let you know. And I love bulletproof. But what I did is I also um, got rid of these stupid Okumas. And I'm trying this out because... This rod right here is a Sea Striker Bill Fisher, solid glass. Look at the turbo guides on it. Not an expensive rod. I can't use it super expensive stuff. It's a stand-up rod. Got a slick butt, metal reel seat. Got the metal gimbal down here. Um, this is what I'm putting my uh, 400H Diawas on. Okay, there you go. Uh, I think this is, what is, what is this rod, 5.6? Um, yeah, I mean, this rod's only 5.6, so it's a, it's a real short stand-up rod here. But I just wanted to say something about solid glass rods. Solid glass rods and shark fishing go hand in hand. That's, in my opinion, you want solid glass. This is solid glass. And pen, they drop the ball. Pen, pen tackle, I guess, thinks they're so good. <coughs> they were making, which I have four of in the seven, uh, seven foot series, stand-ups for the, for the monster sharks or uh, the big black tips. I can't get anybody that can handle monster monster sharks. Um, if I do, or if you, if you think you can, let's go. Okay, they're out on the reefs right now. Tigers, bulls hammerheads um, but I got these because Penn stopped making the Mariners Mariners were identical to this you could get stand-up rods solid glass the big turbo eyes on them or um, guides on them and they dropped the ball so uh, now it's Bill Fisher by Sea Striker I mean go figure so I'll see how these work out. But these tackle companies really piss me off sometimes. I mean, what, they got to be like Google? Once something's good, they can't leave it alone? Come on. So now I'm using these. These are going to be my black tip rods. Um, but I'm just replacing these. Okumas that you can have come on over 15 bucks 30 bucks. I'll even maybe let you have them cheaper if you bring a cold beer I like PBR 16 ounces so That's what's going on today on one day off And we're back at it tomorrow Tropical storm slash hurricane 
Arthur will be long gone up in the Carolinas by then, by tomorrow. I'm sure the seas will linger. So strap up your boot laces and uh, take some Bow 9 chewable tablets at Walgreens for $4.25. Okay? Because you might need it. I'm really, last resort, wanting to go in the river. I like what we were doing just in my last video. If you saw my last video, fishing pre-Tropical Storm Arthur. Sitting there, we're catching some jacks, we're having a good old time, and slam dunking some black tips while I anchored at the inlet. Super nice and just no running around, no BSing around. I like that. So, um, that's what's going on, but I don't know if anybody pays attention to tackle the way I do. But that sure, that pen, them pen people sure to piss me off. They're making that Mariner Rods, solid glass. Now the only thing that they got in Mariner Rods is these really like super cheapy little boat rods and the old Penn Senator rod with the big old giant, who are they, Stewart? Stripper, stripper guide and, you know, roller tip. You don't need any of that, really. I mean, when you start getting into the really bigger sharks, yeah. But just for the coastal ones, the black tips and stuff, just plain old eyes will work. Plain old eyes will work. So, that's a little bit of an update and a tackle rant. And I'll see you out there. So, that's that's story from the wolf den. See you later.